Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Enigmatica 6. I hope you all are doing fantastically. I managed to get my stuff back in between episodes and it's really good. And I will show you the clip where I killed the boss now. And with that kill, we managed to get ourselves Mason's little rusty brand of latent magic. And why this killed me in one shot a couple of times is because it has instigating. That is an enchantment that deals extra damage to mobs that are at full health. Or to people that are at full health. Like me. That's why I died. It's also soulbound, which is really nice. And it has knockback and leech. Leech is also good because it heals me when I do damage. Uh, it doesn't seem to heal me that much. Uh, how do you work leech? Restores health when a mob is killed. Ah, okay, when it's killed, not when you do damage. Okay, I didn't know that. Any Hoozle, in between episodes, uh, this is still doing its thing, still processing. It's almost done. I keep feeding it coal, so we're uh, slowly going through our coal supplies, but it's okay. We're gonna eventually set up an automatic charcoal production system with more possibly botany pots, because I did get in one of the villages... Uh, but I have four more rich soil, so we can set up four more botany pots and we can set up a super duper station where we produce a bunch of charcoal just so we can run this for the time being. I also made two storage upgrades with emerald, uh, which just requires two emeralds each. One for the corn and one for the wheat, so we can store a bunch of this. And for food, we're pretty much good now. We have cornbread for days and we can eventually upgrade it to something better. I don't think we can really use the cornbread for anything other than putting it into a culinary generator, which could also be a thing. We have the, this culinary mycelial generator. Um, it produces 84 RF per tick, which I guess is okay. We could put, set up a bunch of these, uh, or we could put make it into nutritional paste and then nothing uses out of it. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is that I want to get into some mining. Uh, and mining gadgets seem like the the correct choice. So I need a few iron ingots, which should be in here uh, And that should be everything we need mining gadget and we're gonna get a charging station as well uh, And we're gonna put that right down here shift click to insert. Uh, no, that's not the charging table. That's the modification table um, Is that a separate mod because um, we're gonna do This here I'm gonna sleep on it, and then charging? Isn't there a charging table? Or something from mining gadgets? There was a thing from mining gadgets. Miner's light. I mean... We have an infinity charger, which requires plastic. I guess we can get into a... A thermal machine for charging. I assume it's still in here. Uh, they've been renamed a little bit. Uh, maybe not. Um, apparently there isn't a charger anymore. We have flux capacitors. So I don't really know what we can go for charging items, per se. Let me do a bit of searching. Energy cell starter from Pawa is gonna work. I tested it out. It's gonna charge this so slowly but surely this is gonna drain and I assume it's gonna drain this quick Yeah, it is gonna and here we have another stack of charcoal We can toss inside to make more power and it's currently draining faster than we're producing it So it's fine. We're gonna charge it up to possibly a million or so and in the meantime We're gonna make some more upgrades for the gadgets uh, I would like to create fortune upgrades because when we find diamonds We're gonna have to uh, have those upgraded and we can go to fortune 3, which is cool So I'm gonna put down the modification table and we're gonna add that in a moment and I have two blank upgrade modules left and We could go for efficiency uh, We don't really need the magnet because we have the magnet in our curio slot we could eventually go for Silk Touch, but the 3x3 is what I really want to get. I have the Ender Pearls, we don't have enough diamonds though, so I'm gonna save that up for later. Uh, Light Placer is also kind of nice, uh, but we're gonna get that I think later. Can just make another mining helmet. Yeah, let's go for efficiency, because we can then just upgrade this uh, to, with more redstone. Let's grab another stack of blocks here and break down a couple of these. 
So I think we can get up to efficiency five here fairly quickly. It's just redstone, I think. Yeah, there we go. And I think that's gonna use up a whole bunch of power. Uh, we can possibly do this. I have eight quartz. We're gonna sacrifice the quartz for the... Oh, that just increases the battery. Um, you know what? We don't really need it uh, right now. We're gonna wait it, wait it out. It's all good. Okay, so you have charged a little bit and we can toss you in here. Uh, and then we do this and this. And now it has fortune three and uh, efficiency five and it's gonna have a 350 per block cost. Um, but it it is super quick and it does work. Okay, neat. Uh, I kind of destroyed my floor a little bit here. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, I think we have some stone somewhere to fix it. We're gonna add some stairs. We're gonna add efficiency to our thing. Stairs, good, perfect. Okay, cool. So uh, I think I'm just gonna leave this in to charge all the way and then I'm gonna go do a giant mining session and see if we can get a few more diamonds. Uh, in that cave yesterday that the boss killed me in, I explored it later off camera and I found a lucky scarf, which is a necklace slot and it applies an extra level of fortune to my mind blocks. And I totally forgot to put this on because we don't need this uh, panic necklace. It's kind of okay, but the scarf is just better. Uh, so we can use that while mining and I've just been going in a 3 by 3 here. The placing of the lights is nice I made that off camera real fast because this scoria is so dark. You can probably not see anything It's even hard for me to see I might have to close down my window because it's really sunny outside today And it's getting a little bit difficult to see anything But I've yet to find some diamonds as soon as I do I'm making a 3 by 3 upgrade That's basically the plan right now so I'm just gonna go like this until I find some diamonds, then we can make the fortune upgrade and, not the fortune, the three by three, and then we can really, really go ham with this. We found our first vein of diamonds with the mining gadget and we can get a three by three upgrade, which I'm gonna immediately toss onto here. And then we're gonna leave it to charge for a bit so it gets a bit more power and we can go do a bit more mining now a little bit faster. It's gonna drain probably super quickly for the power and we're gonna burn through the charcoal that I've made here very quickly. Uh, I mean, we're almost done with the processing of everything here though. Uh, then it just has to smelt, which is super slow still, but eventually it should be uh, completed. So that's good. Uh, but yeah, more mining. Also, while we're waiting here, I believe I got a full-on infinity book and we can easily add that to our bow here and we can now use just one arrow and we're gonna collect a few, but we can use it this indefinitely as long as we keep this bow fully um, fully repaired and we can uh, easily defend ourselves from uh, mobs from afar. That's wonderful. I am done with mining. We have a bunch of resources here, some that still need to be processed, uh, others we have finished processing. And here we now store 500 or 600,000 uh, RF or FE or whatever you want to call it, uh, power. Uh, and we can easily charge this guy to 600 whenever we need to go, uh, whenever we come back from mining and we need to charge it really quick. Uh, we could potentially, since we're not going to do mining right now, toss all of the things that need processing, that and that, I believe. There we go. I still left a bunch of stuff downstairs that could be mined. I like mostly mine the redstone and the lapis and all of that stuff. And I also have a few more upgrades in here. I made the range tier three upgrade, which uh, just costs some diamonds and some emeralds. And I also made the freezing upgrade, which freezes water and stops lava in its place. That is really cool when you hit a lava lake, you just basically, if the lava is on the bottom floor where you're walking, it's just gonna put obsidian over it when you're gonna go through it. And you never have a chance of falling into lava, which is wonderful. Um, so I think the next step that I wanna do, since this pack is kind of made an, a, into an exploring pack, we can actually, first of all, collect some quest rewards, right? We can get ourselves some more food and things here. Uh, there we go. And maybe some other things, tools. Aha, mining gadgets. Okay, cool. We still need to make the silk touch and the battery upgrades. Those we need, really? I didn't check quests. Now we have an extra light upgrade. I made that off camera, I think. Yeah. Um, and I mean, Bye. Uh, okay, we got, ooh, what is this? Lapis lazuli chunks. Okay. And we got diamond chunks, aluminum chunk, silver chunk, tin chunk, gold chunk. And I, how does one 
Turn this into other things. Oh, you can smelt it into one. You can pulverize it into 12. Okay, cool. Uh, what about these diamond chunks? How much do you pulverize into? Two diamonds. Okay, that's neat. Uh, so that's gonna do its thing in process, and I don't think it's gonna get smelted up. At least I hope it doesn't. Uh, can you do anything with... Oh, I think we might be able to smelt diamonds. No, we can enrich them. Okay, there's no smelting recipe. Cool. Um, if the redstone or the, or the lapis gets smelted, it's perfectly fine. Uh, I also moved around... Ooh, efficiency 5. Pedestal area. Modifies the area of pedestals work area. Okay. Um, neato. Uh, I'm gonna keep my enchanted books in here, I think. Okay. Uh, so, before I got rudely distracted by, um, by quests, uh, we are gonna go explore the end next. So I'm gonna go into the seed, I'm gonna find the stronghold, and we're gonna just put a marker down on the map, and we can then go find it and explore it, and we, maybe we can even get more of these, because there's loot chests in there. So I'm gonna prepare some stuff, we have the food, we just need a few torches, and then we should be good to go. I just opened up my magnet backpack, and we have a whole more set of chunks here, so we're, that's gonna be a huge help. There's gonna be a lot of diamonds, a lot of emeralds as well. That is gonna be cool, because this probably will crush into two emeralds. Yeah, that's gonna be like over 100 emeralds, probably. Yeah, no, 90-ish, over 90. Anyway, let's go explore the end. Way back there, you can see a little bit of the structures. I found some drowned chests, or the drowned monument thingies, and the chest inside had a buried treasure map, which was right here. And let's see if there's anything interesting. Ooh, improves agility in water. Heart of the sea, diamond, and that's it. But the agility in water is nice, and it's also just on my feet, so it doesn't... <laughs> we look ridiculous. <laughs> okay, I wanna see what this does. I think I turned off my freezing thing. Ooh, it's much faster swimming. It might be... Ooh, it's close to a boat, I think. Anyway, the stronghold should be right down here where this water is. Uh, I don't know if there's anything other interesting around here. So we might just turn on a 3x3 three three and just dig down here and see what happens. Maybe we find it, maybe we don't. We found it. I hope it doesn't get waterlogged. It doesn't, and everything froze around me. Okay, cool, neat. So, let's see, maybe we find some cool chests and hopefully we don't die? Okay. Chesticle number one, nothing really of use. Mana ingots are nice, though. Second chest, more mana ingots. Chest number three, mana ingots and cardboard, which I'm gonna leave. And another chest. Finally got a good thing, applies an extra level of looting to kill the enemies. And it's on my head, which I don't think I have anything. Oh, I have the sunglasses. Yeah, which is grants immunity to blindness. That's good. I rather want to be a leprechaun. That, that's cooler. Okay. <laughs> I just looked into this chest and we have a fortune three ancient tome, which means we can eventually get a fortune four pickaxe and we can just use that to mine all of our ores or we can set up some sort of automated system where we could possibly process all of the ores with a special fortune pickaxe that basically would never break. Uh, so while I'm recording here, let's loot this chest in this corner as well. Piercing four and fire protection, protection, weeding and sharpness, mana boost, pedestal speed. Okay, not bad. I also made an iron axe just so I can vein mine all of these because it takes forever with the mining gadget to do them. So, uh, there we go. I have found the portal. We're gonna put a waypoint somewhere here and I think, ooh, we can now try. I actually pulverized some wood and that gets you this sawdust, I believe, this guy. Yeah, you just pulverize a log. And can we pick up spawners? Ooh, we can. Nice. Okay, so I have uh, three more for future spawners, and we can make more once we get to uh, once we get back home again. Uh, so that's cool. Uh, we are gonna. Oh right, I totally didn't think that we were gonna need ender pearls. Right. Um, I did get a waystone while I was exploring, so we could potentially just put this guy right here and name it End Portal. 
and then activate it. And I don't think I have any other waystones. I think you can craft these, right? Waystone? Yeah, it's a warp stone, so it's ender pearls, purple dye, and emeralds for that. And then just some obsidian and some stone bricks. Uh, okay, that's neat. Okay, that's another thing. It doesn't matter. Anyway, uh, we have waystone here now, and we can easily teleport back once we get another one. And it's basically gonna be me trying to go hunt Enderman, possibly at night, or maybe we can go, uh, into the nether. Now that we have a bow that we can defend ourselves from ghasts, we could potentially, um, try and get Enderman in the warped forest, I believe. Uh, so, uh, maybe we'll go do that in a bit. I found the second library, and we have a Smite 5 Ancient Tome, Loyalty 3, Air Affinity. Removes the mining speed penalty when not on the ground. Ooh, that's cool. Okay, Punch 2, Sweeping Edge 3. Okay, not bad, not bad. Uh, let's go check the top one. Is there a top? There is no top one. Okay, so this is it for the, the library. It's a smaller one. Okay, now I have to precariously get out and not die to skeletons. I went back home and I sorted all of my items out of my backpacks and we got an unbreaking two and quick draw bow, I assume from a skeleton somewhere. So we're gonna add that to our regular bow, which is really cool. And I moved all of the crates so they're in the wall now and you can see we have everything pretty much sorted out like so. And I'm currently still processing all of that. It processed all of the chunks though of the lapis, the redstone, and the diamond and the gold and the emerald. So we have uh, two stacks and a bit of emerald, which actually brings me to another thing that I remembered. We can make the next one of these. I could have shift clicked that, that's fine. This plus this. Huzzah, dang four. And now it can store 16,000 items. Cool, and it has possibly, if we go to bag mode, another another layer of slots. Awesome, that's neat. Um, I have enough diamonds, I think, to upgrade it to the dank 5, and then it's just obsidian. I don't think I have... I'm not gonna spend over a stack of diamonds for this just yet. We're gonna do it later, once we possibly have some more automation for things going on, I think. Uh, but now, I think we're gonna try and head into the nether again. I'm gonna turn on my frost walker again just so I don't have to walk all the way over there uh, and we're gonna see if um, we can survive we have some armor our roadrunner boots are gonna break did we get we have a helmet we're gonna take this golden helmet put this on because of piglins I'm gonna make another pair of boots of some kind I am actually gonna spend 18 levels to combine these, so we get Ender Disruption, Soulbound, oh, we actually know, do we want Fire Aspect? I mean, we're gonna get it anyway, yeah, it's on this one, so it doesn't matter, we're gonna get it anyway, but since Ender Disruption should prevent teleportation, or inhibit teleportation, and increase de increases damage dealt to Ender Mobs, it should be good. Uh, and can I take this bow or this sword here and repair this for three? Nice. Okay, cool. So we have a bit of a better sword now. We can toss this in here again. Uh, and let's go uh, and see if we can uh, tackle the nether, possibly. Uh, I'm also gonna grab my umbrella just in case we fall down so we have a glider. But I think we should be better equipped to handle this now. Since we have Ender Disruption 5 on this, we basically two-shot the Enderman, so this should be the last Enderman that I have to kill, or hopefully... Oh, and there's Bone Serpents. The Enderman should teleport out, or he might just immediately die to lava. Um, anyway, maybe I need to find another Enderman. I thought I was gonna be the last kill, but... I do have 11 Ender Pearls, which is what we need, but I want to get at least one more, just so if the spawn in the end is far away we can easily enter pearl back to the island okay i'm gonna, I'm gonna lure you back here come on because i have knockback nope i totally wanted to punch the grass there we go that should be yeah 13 ender pearls good uh and i had a really cool idea that we can do if we go slash home you can also see that i unlock the miner's pick trinket which improves my mining speed uh so that is a thing i don't know if it scales with mining gadgets but um, it is a thing that we can activate now here, so um, that's good. And we need 30 levels to get another uh, trinket unlock. 
Okay, so now I need to get sorted with the blaze rods and to help us traverse the nether a little bit, we can make some mega torches here. Uh, three torches, two logs, two blocks of gold and two diamonds. So let's grab diamonds, blocks of gold, some logs should be in here and torches I should have on me. Uh, I will be making two of these. One will play, we will place down right out here. There we go. And that should surround, keep the surrounding area flee, flee, clear from mobs. I, f I wanted to say fleer for some reason. Anyway, so the other one we're gonna take to the nether and we're gonna place it on the, um, right away on the, basically, on the floor next to the nether portal. And it should prevent mobs spawning. So I believe once we, I will place it right here. Uh, I am sure if we leave and then come back, the mobs might despawn, I hope. Maybe they won't. Okay, nothing really that we can do, I think. So basically, let's just try and find a blaze spawner or at least one of those blaze towers and we can see if we can get to uh, to that one, if we can maybe pillar around it or something and maybe get it, uh, get it going. I think, well, apparently the gas is far away. Um, time to, I, do I not have a shield? I had a shield at some point. Can you? Okay. And these just have like so much attack. Okay, ooh, there is one. Yeah, they keep spawning. I put a mega torch down. Maybe it doesn't work in the nether? Something? Ooh. Yep, guests still spawn. It's like I did nothing. Ooh, this guy's gonna knock me back. All right. So the plan is to get to there. There's blaze in there. So maybe I can get like a um a little bit of a box here. Like three tall possibly. Maybe this big. And we can hide from ghasts, right? Possibly not wraiths. And I believe there is a blaze spawner underneath that block and there's also a chest in there somewhere. So what we're gonna try and do is if we, see if we can cover ourselves up. So we are protected by ghasts. And then I'm gonna try and see if I can pillar over to there without being knocked off by blazes. I'm gonna try and make myself walls all around here. Yeah, can you go away please? Okay, I think I knocked it over. Okay, let's see if we can do it. Oh, I didn't mind the obsidian. Hold on. There we go. Boom. Boom. Loot. And slash home. We got it. Okay, cool. So we can now actually set it up and farm some blaze rounds super quickly. I actually think we have done plenty for today's episode, so we're gonna come back next time and we're gonna set up that blaze spawner and get it into a manual grinder which will allow me to level up and unlock more of the trinket slots, plus we're also gonna get levels for enchanting now that we have all of the books that we got from the stronghold. We can easily set up an enchanting table or an enchantment setup and we can enchant some gear so it's not gonna break super quickly and we can possibly even get into some diamond gear maybe or maybe some other mod armor but possibly diamond gear for the beginning and we can eventually turn it into netherite gear as well so i want to thank you all so much for watching i'm hoping you enjoyed today's episode if you did make sure to hit the like button you can also subscribe to get notified of when new videos go live and you can also support me on patreon as well if you want to play with me right here on this server and i will see you all in the next episode have a good one bye bye